have to put this out here because it shows you uh, how bad big money can be. <laughs> Maybe that's a little stupid way of putting it, but it's kind of how it is. Uh, let me put it to you this way, you know, like you always talked about big oil and stuff. I guess there's the big utility companies. Uh, this was in Oklahoma, actually. They're going to... They're passing this law that if you put like a windmill or a solar panel on your house or something like that, you're going to actually have to pay a fee. There's going to be a fee going to like a maintenance fee to the utility company. And it's, it's nothing to do with like permits or building permits or anything like that. It has to do with, and you know, I don't know what the rationale actually is. They're saying somehow, you know, that... I don't know what, there, there is no really rationale for it. You know, I mean, they got their excuse, basically, the utility company had to put out some kind of uh, capital expenditures and things like that to develop things. And now, since you're buying something that's a capital expenditure to produce your own electricity, they want to charge you for it as a maintenance fee. So it was Senate Bill 1456 passed in the state of Oklahoma, um, 83 to 5 basically landslide no debate nothing no debate as to you know if it was right or wrong or anything and now it's going to the governor um, Mary Fallon for her approval I assume it's going to get signed into law so um, you know this is kind of I, I just I'm like flabbergasted by this but it's it seems like uh, you know it has nothing to do with the energy though per se or anything like that I, I know like you know, there's actually tax incentives for doing energy credits and things like that. Like, even if you make improvements to your home, the IRS will give you tax credits on that and things like that. Well, this is actually coming from the state of Oklahoma. But it's more or less in conjunction with the utility companies. And it's like the utility companies are going to lose money. If a lot of people, I guess, get windmills and solar panels, so they want to charge for it anyway. I, you know, I don't even know how this law could be a law. It's, it's insane. It's crazy. But it goes to show you that if they had the power to tax air, that the air that you breathe, and just put an environmental tax out there and say, you know, since you're a, you know, you're a, an organism that makes carbon dioxide in the on the earth. By breathing air, they're going to tax you. It sounds crazy, but there's so many things that, you know, used to sound crazy so many years ago, and they're not crazy anymore. So they're actually going to charge like a maintenance or a fee or for to the utility company that you're going to have to pay for the privilege. And I know it's going to be a minor amount, but, you know, the thing is there should be zero amount, you know, for the privilege of actually using the solar panels or uh, windmills on your own property. And I think, you know, that has to do, their excuse, the way their, log, their logic is, that you could possibly sell back electricity to the company, but they have to provide the, the capital expenditure to make it possible for you to sell back to the company. You know, it's my solution actually would be, if you got enough solar panels, just to get the hell off the, the damn solar, off the whole utility company, period and just to hell with them but uh, you know I saw that happen in one place in the state of Florida and they said it was illegal that you had to be hooked up to the freaking utility company uh, I don't know this is getting crazy but I'm gonna say this you know I know one person that's maybe not too popular unless it's in certain niches is Al Gore uh, to give you an example of the hypocrisy of some of this, these people uh, he's got a 20 room mansion and it's 20 rooms plus eight bathrooms. So it's, you know, it's 20 rooms that are like regular rooms plus eight bathrooms. Uh, from what I've read, his electric bill is $2,500 a month, which is like, you know, 20 times or something or 10 or 20 times what anybody else's electric bill is in the United States. He does not use green energy. Uh, he uses like, you know, he's got all these heated pools and it's on a big acreage and lots of space it's under air conditioning and heat all the time year-round there's just there's absolutely no consideration of 
you know, saving <laughs> resources or anything in his case, because I guess he's God or something or thinks he's God. But um, actually, to, to tell you the truth, uh, what, you know, if anybody really knows, anybody could see really what the reason is and the rationale why big money is actually pushing, um, you know, the environmentalism, it's actually all about control and removing property, pro private property rights and that type of stuff and um, just making it so there's always, they're, they're never going to give up their ongoing charge. You know, the old story was when um, Nikola Tesla was able to possibly um, provide electricity to the world any place. You know, J.P. Morgan, when he found out about it, he goes, well, if I can't charge for it by putting a meter on it, Forget it, I'm not going to do it, you know. What am I going to do, sell people antennas, and once they have the antenna, uh, there's not going to be a monthly charge. So it's always about we have to have that revenue stream always coming into us. So the utility companies are basically kind of like, I guess, indirectly connected to the oil industry. And uh, they're not going to give up power easily. So I was surprised that the legislator went along with this, though. The vote was 83 to 5, landslide in favor of charging a, basically like a maintenance fee for, to the utility company if you put in a solar panel. And their logic is that since, you, since you're using their um, capital expenditure and you could possibly sell back electricity to the... Um, you know, the the utility conglomerate during the day or something when the solar is working really well or the wind's working very well, you're, they want to charge you a fee for that. You know, there's always a logic you can come along with something, but uh, uh, this is getting ridiculous. And, you know, the whole word of the day actually is with environmentalism. And, you know, it's a good thing, actually, if you take it for what it should be. You know, to save uh, the resources on the earth, to use green energy and things like that. But actually, the whole movement itself is all about, you know, behind the scenes, it's all about controlling all the resources on the earth, which thus you control all the people. So, and you know, Al Gore seems to be one of the biggest hypocrites of the whole deal. It's like, uh, I've, I've read that his electric bill is just under $2,500 a month. Um, he doesn't really use green energy. He's got like heated swimming pools, massive mansion and things like that. He doesn't make use of, you know, and that's $2,500 a month in a um, fairly uh, warm area, you know, of the country. It's not some place like you're not talking about Alaska or something like that where you might have some exorbitant heating bill. And, you know, the deal is actually, though, it's, uh, you know, if you want to really say, I'll just state what it is, the environmental movement at the top echelons, not the actual people that are trying to do good for the earth, but at the top echelons, it's basically communism. It's a front for communism because the environmental movement at the very top can negate all property rights. And it's surprising how our politicians are right in hip pocket of... Um, you know, big business to the max. They didn't even put this uh, issue up to a debate. They just passed it right away and on, on, you know, sail on. Let's let's get on with next business. So, um, you know, it's <laughs> I don't know what the hell to say about this. It's unbelievable because I I almost can't believe it, but it's true. It's it's called the uh, uh, Senate Bill One Four Five Six in uh, Oklahoma, and. Uh, you're basically going to charge a maintenance fee uh, that the utility company is going to charge the solar panel installers and the uh, wind windmill installers in their house because their logic is that you're using their infrastructure that you may possibly sell back electricity to. So to get you one way or the other. But, uh, you know, if that was me, I think... Uh, I probably say you know I don't want to I don't even want the I don't even want the uh, uh, utility company but you know there's some actual some things going on there's actually a movement saying 
you know, I think it was in one area of Florida where they forced a woman to uh, uh, stay connected to the grid. It was illegal that she just used solar panels. So, let me put it this way. Simply put, it's a power grab, and you got to know what's coming up because if you don't know what's coming up with these clowns, like, you know, Al Gore, who's big, one of the biggest hypocrites going, you're, you're, they're going to catch you off guard. So this is my warning. It's not something I'm not trying to put out, something doom and gloom or anything like that, but just a heads up on it because you think something like this can't pass. You know, you think there's no logic to it. But when it comes to money and, you know, the ones that want the want to keep their revenue stream going, they'll 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 push to have it passed. And it looks like the politicians are in the hip pocket of, you know, the powers that be, whatever you want to call it. Al Gore being one of them. So that's the deal.